So then when it comes to to hooking up, because Mm -hmm. comparatively, compared between me and you, you do have tighter boundaries. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that you only hook up with top with bottoms who mirror whatever you're giving? I, I hook up with whoever wants some dick at the moment that we connect, period. I don't, I don't care about the, however you define yourself. Just be clear. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I want. Are you down with that? And if you are good, and if you're not, I'll find somebody else who is. There's so many, there, listen, okay, there's about? so many flavors. There's so many things out here. You, you will find somebody. But I hear that a lot, but what do you make? What are, what are some of the things? Like what so is a, something that, cause you said you don't suck dick unless you're in a relationship. I call that, this is what people told me that I am. They said that I am a slut with my dick, but I'm a uh, romantic with my ass. Oh, I'm no, I'm a romantic slut with my dick, period. It, it sounds like you're a slut with your dick, but you're a romantic with your mouth, asterisk and a footnote. Sure. I mean, cause that's a part of my romance too. It's going to be an experience when you with me. So it's not so, just, it's not just like, it's not just the act for me it's deeper than that for me it's bigger than that for me i should say okay so do you only date bottoms then no in fact i've only dated like total bottoms i've only dated maybe two total bottoms that classified like says that they are a bottom most of the people that i've dated because of at least before my growth, most of the people that I was attracted to were more masculine presenting, more, um, yeah, masculine presenting. And so for me, most of the people that I dated were like verse tops or um, verses. Yeah. So, okay. So this is where I, it gets hairy for me. I get that as a person with agency and respecting the agency of others, you say, these are my boundaries. Do they work for you? Mm -hmm. But if you can be empathetic for, I mean, you are an empathetic person. Where is the equity in a verse person or verse, anything verse bottom verse, verse top dating you. So the equity may not be in the sex. The equity may be in other places in other areas of the relationship. And let's also be clear too like that I'm a, I mean I'm a dope ass dude. Let's start there. Our conversations are gonna be dope. Okay. Right? That like I mean like so it's yeah. not I, I to a when I what I bring to a table is more than just my sexual desire and my sexual expression. Right. And so for me, um I'm a package deal. And that's why to you know, to one of your questions that you asked me off air of like why am I single? Originally it was because that people I felt that people couldn't People love the thought of Torian and being with Torian, but the work of being with Torian, people were like, nah, I don't want to do, right? And the work for me is like, we're going to communicate. We're going to talk about emotions. We're going to talk about expressing how you feel and what's going on. Like for me, that's important, right? And so there's a lot, when we talk about equity, and, and let's also say this, that equity means I'm responding to who you are in front of me, not equality. So it sounds like your question really is, is steeped in equality. And the reality is in relationships, they're not equal. They will never be equal. They're, they're equal. Which is exactly why, I mean, I was intentional to say equity. Because if I am to give, because granted enough, short of sex, we still two men. This is one thing I believe wholeheartedly. Mm-hmm. Aside yeah. from what we do as we are entangling, we are two men. So if you, if I am sensitive and I need sensitivity, I should be able to get that from you. You are capable of that. Mm-hmm. The only time that there is distinction between what a top does and a bottom does as they uh, pertains to dating is when we fucking. Because in every other instance, we are the same kind of people. Underneath it all, we still two niggas, right? And so I am curious if I... Now, also, the, the question was steeped in the fact that I do believe that there is a bigger sacrifice in bottoming than there is in topping. Okay. And so if I am to sacrifice in my head more so because I am giving of my body. I am giving of my, a whole bunch of stuff that we don't have to get into because that gets all sciency. But if I am doing those things, then how, how then do we even that playing field? Because in every other space in our relationship, potentially we are going to be maybe not 50, 50, but it'll even out. 
And so, okay, so I'm gonna a- I'm gonna ask this question, but I'm gonna ask it with the preface that I am in no way promoting, um, you know, heterosexuality or heterosexism, right? Like, for me, it's like, what then would be the equity in a in a guy and a girl? What then creates the equity? Right, but my point, the, the point of that is that when we talk about sexual desire, they may not always. It, they may not always align in the in the position power, right? In the position dynamic. However, we're talk. I'm also talking about pleasure. It's really what I think you're getting at the root of it, pleasure. So for me, I always going to make sure that you're pleased too. It's not just like oh, because I'm a top, like I'm just focused on my pleasure and that's just it. Like not at all. For me, it's also I want I want to know that you're pleased. That that gets me off knowing that you're pleased as my partner. And so for me. It's just like equity. When I see equity, it's like, yeah, I may not be the strongest communicator, but that doesn't mean, but I may be the strong, uh, you know, a stronger provider or I may be a stronger intellectual. So it's like there's, when you talk about equity, it's really about how do you work together and cooperate together to make what you have and what you want work for the both of you. And so for me, but it's that's like, exactly why. But now, T, now T, that's exactly why I asked, though, do you just date bottoms then who can? Because if you compare it to straight to, to straight people in most straight relationships, short of pegging and fetishes and kinks. Right. It mm-hmm. is a man who is doing the fucking because he got the dick and a woman who is getting fucked because she got the pussy. Yeah, that is their that is their that is an equitable connection for most mm-hmm. straight people, I would imagine. To the same okay. end, I would say that if you are a top, then the equitable decision would be to date bottoms and leave the versatility to people who have who who whose puzzle pieces fit together on that end. Would so it I think I so I think I think if we are attaching it to an identity potentially, but for me, sex is just about expression, what I express. And so I again, I also have conversations up front early, like, how you doing? Okay. Are you in therapy? What is your sexual expression? <laughs> those are my those are my top three questions. <laughs> Not always that's in that a, order. That's a good three. <laughs> but those are my top three questions, <laughs> right? That's a and that's so, a very good three. Are you in oh, yeah. therapy? And yes, what's your indeed. sexual expression? I'm gonna add that to my list. I'm, that's gonna be on the podcast tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and so for me, it's like I I want to talk through what pleases you because I get to then decide whether I want to participate in that behavior or not. And you vice versa, get to decide if you want to participate in what makes and what pleases me. And it, and literally that's all that is. That is literally what is the definition and the parameters and the boundaries to which we conduct our sexual life. But that is different Mm -hmm. than every other piece and every other part of our lives. It's not the same, which is why I, I think it's important that we, we, detangle position from identity because a lot of times I think again like as as I started this conversation with the idea that because you are a top you are supposed to present or show up in this way or because you're a bottom you're supposed to do it in this way and the reality is all that does at least for Torian is describe what Torian likes to do in his bedroom penetration wise because let's also be clear that that in of itself is not all that Torian does Torian loves Torian has his kinks and his fetishes and the things that he enjoy in the bedroom to spice it up and make it fun and enjoyable for both parties and I think that is 